only way we can unless these 330 million would if we just scatter the stories of it will blast it off. Yeah. In 1975 or in 1985, there's a, an American scientist called Van der Graaff who produced a generator that is used for st a study of nuclear investigation and snapping of atomic structure. The capacitor that American built for him was able to store one megavolts, but that is at once discharged. So it is being charged by, light, by static uh, energy, by lightning, and then it is used for snapping of atomic structure and study of nuclear investigation. The same American is very really built my story zone, my nesting zone for me, that will retain energy for 8,928 hours for one story zone, which is a year and seven days. And we are having about five story zones here, which is store energy for five years and more than a month. Okay, so you know, when, when, we, when we try to advertise your appearance on the show, someone sent me a text, a funny text, and said, have you supplied electricity to your village? Is there a way you could do a pilot and attract a little of this your um, lightning uh, energy mm -hmm. and so that Nigerians can see that Thank you. Now, this, also, this all like utopia, you know, something that may not be achieved. Now, this is an invention, like I said. In terms of prototype, it is megally expensive. And I just graduated from IMT last year, October. 2015, mm -hmm. last year, and I don't have the financial so, uh, 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 backing to order these materials from outside the country. Now, we don't have storage capacitors that can store static energy from lightning in Nigeria. It's not available. Is it somewhere abroad? Yes, we can source it from either Russia, Germany, or Britain. Then, secondly, the lightning arrestor. The, all the ones I sourced abroad, they are all used for earthing purposes. None of them has a resistance filter that can filter a, a, a particular resistance from lightning. They are all used for earthing purposes. So this will be specifically designed for this uh, purpose. And besides, sir, uh, this is a prototype, a, a, a non-working prototype. This is a teamwork. This requires various branches of engineers coming together, just like in the production of a car. See various engineers coming together to set up just one car. So what you're actually saying is that government and assemble a team and fund them. Yes, of course. Because now I'm a, I'm still a student. I'm preparing for my service. My my service next this year October November. Mm -hmm. I'll be going for my service. I don't have source fund to fund the project, and this is a government project, not even a state project. Because a lot of even the high tension step down transformers, these things will be will be imported. That will, because the ones we have in Nigeria, they are they are used for stepping down. Nigerian generate 330 k uh, uh, kV, that 330 uh, thousand volts. Then they step down to 132 thousand volts. Then they step down to 33 thousand volts. Then they step down to 11 thousand volts, and finally they step down to 415. That's the transformers we have in Nigeria here. Yeah. So we have to. So this was design specially designed. Thank you. That is why it's an invention. So are you frustrated that nobody is calling you and saying, "Come, let's ex explain this to us and let's see how we can, you know, uh, synergize and make something out of it." Does yes, it, yes, does it bother you? Uh, yeah, it, it bothers me because the, I've been nurturing this idea since 2004. That was over 12 years ago when I was still in secondary school, SS2, top 10. Though I was under scholarship by my school proprietor, Mr. S. E. Agogovia, of um, Challenge Academy Secondary School. He um, um, gave me scholarship due to my invention prowess, because I attended a, 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 normal, a, non -conventional, a normal conventional school. It's not a technical school. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a, a gift embedded in given to me by God to bring her to the world. OK. Um, I just pray that um, Nigerians are watching. I pray that government those in government are watching, and uh, we'll, on, on O and M, we do our best to see how we can link you with the Minister of Science and Technology and other relevant agencies that should uh, probe into your inventions. But it looks like you have other things. Can you quickly talk about it because we are running out of time? Yeah, this is a, a this is an innovation developed by me. Yes, what is it about? This 12 hours emergency lights. It's when there is public power outage. It supplies light 
within that uh, 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 vicinity or within the sitting room for 12 hours. And it's expandable. You can do it for. Yeah, I can do it for as in for even up to a day because I'll, I'll just increase the, the power and the battery system inside okay. it. Okay. Now, when now it is on. But it is not on because the weather is bright. Okay. When it senses either daylight or exactly. or any other lighting system, it will switch off itself automatically. And if in the daytime it will start charging using